Hey, what's up? It's Comic95, the Savior, and for this video, I want to talk about something really interesting that I just saw the other day, and you guys are going to kill me for this, as always, but it was actually something from Kevin Samuels. I know, I know, I know, but hear me out. Like I said, I'm not a sheep in the point where, like, I cannot separate what I agree with him on versus what I do not agree with him on. I also want to make it clear with you, too. Sorry about my phone. Something that I find really difficult with people that they don't understand, this goes for men and women, but especially when it comes to dating space at women, it's not about what you think, what you agree with, and what you want to believe with or in. And I'll make another video talking about this, but you have to understand that the truth is not always something that you want to believe in, something that you want to agree with, something that you like, but it remains. And in this case, as a woman, I don't get to decide the rules. The reality is, is that men do, if you're a straight woman which most of us are. And with that said, you have to play by the rules that men decide. And you can always find those exceptions to the rule in men that don't fall into a certain category. But the reality is, you need to understand where men are coming from and what men want if you want to get married and you want to have a successful relationship. Even if marriage is not a goal of yours, which it should be if you're dating, but you have to understand what men want and what they don't want. Likewise, men have to learn what women want and what they don't want. And so that'll be for another video. But what I want to talk about inside of this video is something I never really saw somebody articulate in words. And it wasn't said in the best way. And it was, I'm going to say it really just bluntly straightforward. And that wasn't even the topic of the video. The topic of the video was, I believe it was this black woman who was saying that she didn't want to date older men, basically. And she wanted this, you know, high, I don't know if she necessarily want a high value man, but yeah, I think she did. She basically wanted this guy to spoil her and give her the same life that her parents gave her, etc. Understandable, from my perspective. And he was saying that her unwillingness, it was funny because she sounds exactly like me. When I was about her age, actually when I was younger than her, but about her age, she was like 23 or whatever. I thought that dating a guy that was like 40 was like, ugh. And as I got just a little bit older, I started to realize, you know, this is where it's at. The guys that are like in their mid-30s, early 40s, I don't date dudes in their 50s or I've, I've probably dated a guy in his late 40s before. But you know what I'm trying to say, like, I, or mid-40s, I absolutely changed what I was dating after that. I changed my mind. They take such good care of you. You go out on nice dates. You get nice gifts, etc. You have a good time, good experiences, whatever. They know how to communicate with you. It was a complete... Even the F boys that I dealt with that were that age. It was a whole nother level. Instead of the guys that, you know, buy you a onigiri at the convenience store. And don't have a car to give you a ride home. Don't have the money to pay for your, you know, cab ride home, whatever. Like, it was just a completely different experience dating older men. But that wasn't the purpose in this video. What I wanted to highlight was... Or it wasn't the entire purpose... He said that basically the reason why you don't date these men and wait for them to change their mind about marriage, and this ranged me my first boyfriend that I had here in Japan, my first serious relationship. Not if I'm give his name, you can look back and find out. When they're ready to get married, they're not going to choose you. And the way he said it, I mean, it shook me. And I'm married, might I add. I'm already married. But it shook me when I heard him. So I was like, oh my God. I wish I had a father or an older brother to tell me that. Or shoot a big sister, somebody. The what I mean, I found that out. But like even my mother, I'm gonna keep it real with you, because she couldn't relate to me. Sorry, both of her marriages are bad, including the one that produced me. And on top of that, my mother got married young. She got married, she was like 19 years old. I couldn't relate to that. She couldn't relate to me. She has no experience dating as an adult. Every man that she ever dealt with was somebody that she met when she was in school. And the thing that sucks was, as Kevin Samuels even said before too, our parents didn't give us that game and advice. They taught us live your best life, have fun, do whatever. And we've been taught out of fear to not get married early, to enjoy your life, don't have children, etc. We haven't been taught why you should care about a man's job, his education, nothing. We've just been taught to oh, love people as they are, whatever. Love, don't pay bills. Love, don't give your kids a good education. So much more goes into that. And it leaves you with nothing when death takes place. But it's all a whole other story. What I do want to get at is the fact that it's like, wow, that is so true. Because for so many women, we like the guys that we went to school with. When really, you should be going after the guys that at least graduated before you even started high school. Not while you're in high school, but as an adult. 
For example, when I look at guys now, I still think with my high school brain. I think to myself, okay, if you went to school together, you would have graduated one year before I would have started or two years before I would have started, you know, whatever. That's the mindset that we have. So, for example, like with my husband, he would have been a freshman in college when I was starting high school or he might have been a sophomore. You know what I'm trying to say? So, yeah, that's the type of way that you want to move in your relationships because the guy that you're dating and holding off on and hoping that maybe he'll marry you when he turns 30 because you guys have been dating since you were 24 or maybe he'll marry you after he graduates when he's 29. I understand, and yes, there's a possibility, especially like if you're going to school together, like med school, whatever. things. That's a whole other story. But I'm talking people that are just casually going to school, and you've dedicated your entire life to someone that, you know, you think is going to be serious about you. But it's like, I promise you, that same 23-year-old that you're dating, the guy same age as you, when it comes time, when it comes time for him to look for a wife, he's not going to be looking for you. And this was like another part two, and I'll make another video on this. But he was talking about how, you know, men are as loyal as their options are. And wow, that is so true. And that's the reason why, like, I stopped with just solely one of the date guys because I have money. Because Patreon knows what I'm talking about. The guys that do truly have money, no matter how good they treat you, they will never marry you. They know that they have unlimited access to women. And when they do get ready to get married, they're going to be a lot older than they were when they were dealing with you. So, for example, a guy that I'm talking to is 37, 36 years old. He's not ready to get married yet. He's going to wait until he's about 45, 55. This point is going to be like, you know what? I like to settle down. And by then, I would be too old for him to even, for me to even catch his attention. I have to lie about my age to even be in his graces. And hope that I ain't got all, got all wrinkly and grayed out by that point. So with that said, yeah, it's like you have to understand that if you want to get married, especially a man that can give you the lifestyle that you want, a man that can provide the way that you want him to, a man that can put your kids in private school, whatever, you have to date older men. And you also have to get rid of this illusion where you think that you're going to marry this guy that you, you know, went to high school together with and you're just going to wait for him to feel like he's ready, whatever. Unless that man has a plan right now to get married or gives you a solid plan like, okay, in two years after I'm done with this, I finished school, whatever, you're not going to get married. And most girls are not messing with a guy that's necessarily going to school with them. Rather, you're talking to a guy that looks cute, you met online, you met at the club, you met through a friend of a friend. I'm not saying it's a problem of where you met the person. But rather, you're talking to people that have no plans for their life. You're talking to people that aren't serious. You're talking to people that have unlimited options. They're young. They're busy having fun, having sex, partying, whatever. Not that older men cannot be fuckboys too. But the reality is, you deal with a lot more of them when they're young. Marriage is not even on these guys' mind. In fact, the only reason why any of them have even thought about marriage is because you've put it inside their mind to think about it. For the most part. Or they're using you for some reason. A visa, for money, for I don't know taxes something they're getting something out of it in all circumstances and again this is where struggle love comes in people marrying people that you know don't have their stuff together so now i can get into the whole financial side of it but i do want to say that age does matter in relationships i'm not telling there's some old geezer that's about to die so you can get his inheritance not what i'm getting at but what i am getting at is you need to choose to date people that are serious about marriage and you're probably not going to find out what a guy is just a couple of years older than you or younger than you if you are in your 20s that is and honestly even though he says 30 i think really he said about 33 he said the 30s when they start thinking about marriage and honestly i completely agree and it's funny he said that because i did not get this from him i said this myself i actually dated a 33 year old and this is what changed my mind back when i was 24 and i decided you know what I was, was it 24 yeah i just turned 24 it changed my mind i decided you know what i'm done dating men in their 20s you have to be at least you have to at least be 30 years old and i had my cap at like what 38 39 whatever so yeah um just know that you're wasting your time waiting on these dudes i caught myself waiting for that guy that i wanted to get married to and it turned out he was just cheating on me wasting my time playing me etc and it took me a long time to get over him but i finally did and when i did i felt stupid and betrayed in fact i kind of think back to fuck even now now he's closing in on 30 he'll be 30 next year and all i could just think to myself this man is probably going to get married in a year or two to a girl he probably just met a few months ago. A girl that he met and married within a year. And here my dumb ass was. I held out for three years for this dude. Waiting for him to change his mind. Hoping things would be different, etc. And you see what I'm trying to say? Like, you get so attached to the idea of what, you know, 
trying to cling on to those hopes and dreams. He's going to change his mind. He's going to marry me. I've been supporting him from the sidelines being that girlfriend. So when he gets ready, he's only going to be able to think of me, right? Nope. You're going to be too old for him. You're going to be too ran through for him. You're going to be in. He's going to have better options. He's going to have a better job, a better career, a better whatever. He's not going to be thinking about you. That's the reality. And a lot of these dudes, it's not just a matter of having better options. They simply don't want you. You were just something that was fun for them for the moment, for the meantime. That's the truth. It hurts, but it's true. It's not about how cute you are, how well you can speak Japanese, how much money you have, etc., how good your education is. Men marry who they want to, and for the right person, it's never too soon. I married my husband after dating him for just three months. We got married. Some of you have been dating a guy for three years and marriage hasn't even been talked about before. It's not even on the table. So, again, not to make you feel bad, but something to say that to you. Like, wow, that really like, spoke to me. When that man is ready to get married, I wish I, had, I wish I had the exact quote that he said, but when he's ready for marriage, you're not going to be the girl that he chooses. You're not going to be on his mind. He's going to have more options, better options, younger options. And even forget about that. You all might even fall out. Why should he choose you? And you might think you look better than whatever else. I promise you the problem is not your looks. There's too many women. And beauty is not so rare. That's the reality too. Especially now there's a makeup and plastic surgery X, Y, and Z. I totally understand. I'm not a man. I'm speaking to you as a woman though. You have to understand how men feel. Every guy is not like that. But more than likely that guy that you're dating is wasting your time. Honestly, it's also more fun to date older men. They know what to do. They know what you want. They're more romantic. They have more money. And in a lot of cases, they have more time. A lot of what we want from older, I mean, from younger men, we can get from, from younger men, we can get from older men a lot better. We complain about romance and the other stuff. Okay, an older guy knows how to do this stuff. He's been there, done that. He has the experience. I'm not saying that an older guy that has baggage and kids and, you know, tons of debt. That's not what I'm getting at. I'm talking about a guy of value that has his stuff together. It's also really important to not, I make another video on this topic, like I said, but to not just go after guys because they look cute or because they're tall. Do those things matter? Yes, of course, sexual attraction is important. But is it everything? Absolutely not. And this is a huge problem with the black community in particular. Speaking of my community, because I am black, I know we're in Japan, but we care so much about this that we miss out on one of the most important things, which is stability. Sorry, if you want to have children, you want to have a good life, you want to be able to retire, you do need a man that does have his stuff together. Not a man with hopes and dreams of being a rapper, a millionaire, actor, you know, singer, song, none of that type of crap. I mean, like a real stable career. A businessman, a real businessman, not a man selling $2 t-shirts out of his garage. I'm talking about real business, real plans, real money, real work. And most of us don't bother with that. We try to build with these men, we try to struggle with them, etc. And I'm just speaking on black, I'm talking about men in general. We don't care about this. We care more about how a man looks than what he makes. And men don't do that. They don't sacrifice what they want. Men care a hell of a lot about how you look. They're not going to marry a girl because, oh, well, she was a really kind person. Nope. They don't need a time of day. You got to look young. You got to be cute. That's how men choose their wives. That's how they choose their girlfriends. You've been bullied into believing that you're a bad person for caring about money. But money is needed for everything. So... So much more can go into this. Just gonna put that out there that you're probably f constantly finding yourself dealing with f boys, constantly finding yourself in bad relationships, constantly finding yourself being strong on for years and years. Because not only are you dating men that are not of any sort of value. When I say value, I'm not talking about a millionaire or even a hundred thousand dollars a year type person. I'm not even talking about that when I say value. But rather, I'm talking about a man that has a career that is stable, that wants marriage. It's so many women trying to persuade their guy that he should get married, trying to persuade their man that they're the right one for them. 
you do not want to deal with a trash dude like that. You tell him that you want to get married. You put it on the table. Give him the ultimatum. Hey, look, you know, if you can't, I'm sorry. I got to move on. And that's it. You don't wait for no dude for no three, four, five years. Because that dude would never do that for you. And more than likely, even if you were to get lucky, he does marry you. Look at what he put you through. Would he be okay with that? Think about that. It's not fair to you. Date men that want what you want instead of trying to persuade men to want what you want. If you want to travel for the rest of your life and live a nomad sort of lifestyle, you don't want to date a guy that wants a stable office job, do you? Trying to persuade him to quit his job and go travel the world with you is a lot harder than dating a guy that's working an office job and has already said, you know, I really want a party to travel the world with me. Or a partner that's already doing that. You need to go after like-minded men. And that like-minded man probably won't be six foot two. He probably won't be a bodybuilder. He probably won't be the most handsome thing you've ever seen. You don't have to sacrifice all of this entitlement telling you gotta date a guy that's five foot two or that's you know three hundred pounds or you know what the case type whatever the case might be. It's not what I'm trying to say. But rather what I am saying is don't put too much of an emphasis on one or two superficial, you know, things, so to speak. I wonder if we call it superficial, because I hate that term. Don't put too much emphasis on one or two traits or things you can choose from in a relationship. Think about the most important things to you. Would you really rather have a guy that's tall than a guy that can take you out to nice dinners, take you on vacation, buy you handbags, etc.? Think about it. So, that's all for this video. You can go on ranting forever. I just really want you to think about that because I was like really, I wish I, like, I saw that a while ago. I, I kind of like pieced it together myself um, recently. <laughs> but when I say recently, I mean like a couple of years ago. But like I wish I like saw that back when I was like 20, 21, whatever. Because I kind of like thought that too. I was afraid of like dating that guy. I'm like, what if he chooses not to marry me? What if we break up and I just wasted all these years of my life, etc. And so thankfully, I was dating people. And I didn't like truly sit there for like three years or whatever. But I was always thinking in the back of my mind, he'll come back to me. He'll change his mind. And it was so much wasted time. I was feeling guilty for dating other people. Meanwhile, he's over here effing other people. So... Don't put all your eggs in one basket, not encouraging you to cheat, but rather date people that want what you want. Date men that are older than you because they're the ones that normally want what you want. Men mature at a much slower rate than women do. They're not thinking about marriage at the time that you are because they don't have the same internal, you know, whatever clock where they have to hurry up and have kids. Men can have kids literally until they die. Sperm quality and count ain't the best as they get older, but it's still there. Women cannot relate. Don't make things harder for yourself than it already is. And the younger you are, the easier it is to get married, to find a man that's high value, that has money, or a man that is of value, a man that you would want. The older you get, the harder it becomes. Because just like how you want the tall, rich guy that's handsome, men want the young, fine woman that's submissive. Not the 35-year-old with two kids and a master's degree. That's not what they look for. It sucks. It hurts. I don't make the rules. I'm almost 30 myself. But I am telling you, you need to understand what men want. What they think. Our opinions mean nothing. If you don't want to date a guy that's older than you, be prepared for dealing with more F-boys. Be prepared for a struggle love. Be prepared for wasting your time, potentially. Because only a few people are going to get lucky and marry a guy that's close to their age or the same age. And they will provide them with a good, stable lifestyle. Because the reality is, unless you personally went to school together or you, 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 know, you guys both go to college, you know each other, whatever, more than likely your time is going to be wasted, even with college students. Oftentimes, college students don't date somebody the same age as him. They, they date somebody they met in college, but they're older than them, whatever. So, it's whatever. Do what you want to do. Just giving you real big sis advice. Because for me, like even as a married woman, I thought to myself, this is so true. Men will waste your time in their 20s. Especially early 20s. 
this girl's talking about she wanted to hold off for another five years or whatever when he claimed he was going to be ready or something crazy like that. And just think to yourself, can you ever tell a man that? I want to have sex with you. I want to wait until I'm ready to get married at about 30. So if you could just you know, date me for about another seven years or six years, then I'll be ready. He'll be like, bye, bitch. He'll be out the door. But we sit there, we oh, okay, <laughs> like, a, like a good little dog, and we wait for them to really turn 30 years old. So, it's whatever, like I said, do what you want. Fight with your mama, leave a comment down below, tell me what you think, what's your opinion. If you're married in particular, what do you think about this? Do you agree with that? Do you think it's a waste of time to deal with guys that are younger than you or the same age as you, and it's worth it to date a guy that's a little bit older than you? I would say, I don't know, six, seven years older than you, I think is the minimum you should be dating is, you know, six years older. And when I say six years, I mean assuming that that'll put him in his 30s. I don't think you should date any guy under the age of 30 if you're looking for a marriage. Dating a guy under 30 means you just want to play around, sleep, have fun, not get married. Because these dudes will require you to either date them for years before they can consider marrying you and or they never want to get married. It's not even on their mind. So, so much easier to date a guy that wants marriage, wants a partner, wants kids, and trying to persuade a young guy why he should give up his partying, fun lifestyle, and become a father and a husband. So... Leave a comment. Give me your own opinion, own opinion down below. Um, yeah, as always, I hope you all watch another video. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Bye.